Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with Ross Benjamin, SBR contributor, and today we're going to be looking at that baseball game between the Angels and the A's. So how's it going this morning, Ross? I'm doing very well, Dex. How about yourself? I'm doing great, my man. I can't complain. We're talking about baseball. See if we can get that extra cash in my pocket. Let's start talking about this guy, Wade LeBlanc. Now, in your article, you actually made some interesting observations about the Angels starter who just recently came in from AAA. Now, can you fill us in on that particular topic, if you will? Wade LeBlanc, it's awful weird at this time of year for a team to call up a 30-year-old, and that's exactly what they did in Wade LeBlanc. Uh, he started 22 games at AAA Salt Lake City this season. He's appeared in eight games with the Angels during the 2014 campaign. Six of those have come in relief. He's made two starts. This is a guy that's gone 0-9 in his last nine and 1-13 and in his last 14 against the Money Decks at the big league level. So not a lot to be encouraged about with Wade LeBlanc. Now, Ross, in a few of our past videos, we've actually spoken about Sonny Gray, and I know that you've had your concerns about this young hurler. Now, some time has actually passed since then. Are those concerns still present, or have they subsided a bit? Actually, they still remain for me, Dax. He still appears to have hit that proverbial wall that a lot of young pitchers do at the big league level, whether it be from the length of the season or the other teams just happen to get a book on him now, and he's not fooling anybody. Gray started the season by going 15-6 and six against the money in his first 21 starts. Since then, he's gone a dismal 2-8 and eight in his last 10. He's seen three of his last four go over the total while posting a lofty 5.04 ERA. So, no, my concerns haven't subsided at all as they apply to Sonny Gray. All right, we got two pretty much normal pitchers, per se, in this case. Um, what's the final analysis for this one, and where's your lean going to go to? Well, for lack of a better description, Dax, the angel starter Wade LeBlanc is being used as a punching bag right now. <laughs> it's a sure indicator the angels are playing out the string by using LeBlanc to eat up innings and rest key members of the rotation uh, for the postseason coming up. Sonny Gray has struggled to win over the past two months, but he won't be facing a stacked lineup like he normally would with the L.A. Angels because of the fact they've already clinched their division and they're going to be resting players. And their main priority right now is to get to the postseason healthy. Contrarily, the A's have a lot to play for, Dex, with their main goal having home field advantage in that one-game American League wildcard playoff, which will come against the Kansas City Royals in all likelihood. My pick here goes on the Oakland A's minus one and a half, plus 120 over the Angels on the run line this evening. All right, good stuff, my man. It's always rare to actually see a run line play coming from you, but I guess i got to follow this one as well. Now, in any case, Ross, thank you very much for all the valuable insights, and we'll talk some more baseball tomorrow. It's always a pleasure, Dax. Thank you for having me. The pleasure's all mine, my man. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.